I think is a walnut stock. This needs to be diluted. So we'll have to take a guess at that. Like everything else in life, it's got a bloody childproof lid on it. So we'll just pop a little hole in there. And be extra careful not to spill this anywhere. And put a tiny bit, we'll just fill the bottom of this. And stop. Ah, childproof lids. And we need to find something to put some water in there. So we have this, which is my cat scarer. <laughs> And cats like to come in the garden and uh, leave little parcels for us or even come into the, the hallway downstairs there's a double cat flap to get so our cat can get in the house. Once you've copped them with this a couple of times they tend to not bother coming in your garden anymore. So I'm going to jug of water. I'm going to fill this up. And then we'll just have it in there until it's about twice as deep. And uh, probably should have done this first, but I need to mask. I need to mask around here off. So we'll move this stain well and truly out of the way in case it gets knocked. Quickly run some masking around. Keep the rubber safe. From stain. I don't really think it matters if you get a bit of stain on your rubber because your rubber's black. And then um, we're ready to apply the stain. The stain takes a couple of hours to dry. Now remember, wood stain is just that, it's just a stain. It's not paint. You can see it's, it's pretty much water thin. It won't stick to anywhere on here where the varnish still remains. It will just run straight off. sacrilegious as it might be I think before I oil it I'm going to go over my checkering with a black sharpie and give it black checkering just to make it you know just a little bit personalized so careful with this stuff because it's water or as thin as water it flips off everywhere
is looking rather nice. I have to try and get these runs out of it straight away. Because otherwise they'll stay there. Oops, because I've left my old dirty t-shirt on. You can see that's soaking into the wood almost as I swipe the brush over it. I shall sacrifice my finger briefly to look at that end. That end done okay. Looks pretty even. It's got a lovely dark colour. I'm going to give that one more coat. It might be water based, but it sure doesn't come out too easy. The stain is doing an excellent job of highlighting where I've left a little tiny bit of varnish behind. To get the light right, there's another one there. There's another one there, but the oil will cover all that up. There's another one there, actually it looks like someone's been wiping bogeys on my stock. So, coat number one. It's come out pretty good. Could still do with uh, some more sanding, but we'll see how it comes out once it's got the oil put on it. nice grain. So the next step is just to colour these up. Um, I found some oil paint so I shall probably paint them black. I'll paint them black with oil paint. I need to redo my work surface. Make it tidy and get rid of this stain. So I'll be back shortly. Hmm, strange. It says acrylic. 
but it seems to be oil based acrylic. <coughs> My brush skills are not particularly good. I've got a selection of brushes from the ridiculously small to the uh, ridiculously ruined. There seems to be one decent one there. It's a humble brush for models. I should probably do it warming down a bit. Checkering. It should make the uh, should make the rifle stand out for the crowd. I'm still a bit gutted that there wasn't any checkering at the front. I might see if there's a, a woodworker out there somewhere that can get it that can get checkering on there for me. Um, right, so. Oil paints take about eight hours to dry thoroughly. So we'll just have to leave that sitting safely in the corner over there. And that's pretty much it for step two. Stained. It was perfectly smooth before I started. Um, 
I've gone over the whole thing with 400 to get most of the varnish and, and other stuff off. And then afterwards I went over it with 800 to really smooth it out. And with wood, I don't think you need much more than 800. If I was working on a car or a surface that was going to be painted with gloss paint, then I would have gone to 12 or 1600. But there we go. The next step is, once this has gone dry, is um, putting a true oil finish on there. Thanks for watching guys and see you on the next one.